Hello there, and welcome to Poker Quest, a brand new deck builder roguelike with a bit of a twist, for you see, the game uses a standard deck of playing cards. I need to give a great big thank you to the fine people over at PlaySaurus for sponsoring today's video with a code for their game so that I'm able to share with you what their new title is all about. I also really like how when you move the mouse around, the, the screen is like, like, animated and it moves around like this. That's really cool. Anyway, new, <laughs> new run. Uh, standard run. Um, I need to unlock this other stuff. Play a standard run first before trying daily run, of course. All I've done is the tutorial. Like, literally all I've done is the tutorial, so... What we have here is our, our character. We haven't even unlocked the second one yet. So the knight, we come with a sword and a shield. Uh, in combat you may spend four resources to stun the enemies, discarding all their cards, etc. So we actually have two modes here. You have the upgrades mode, where you get to buy upgrades between runs, or the classic mode, which is more roguelike by the sounds of it, where you have no upgrades, it's very hard, you get experience and score at the end by the sounds of it. Now for the purposes of actually showing you the game, I'm gonna play upgrades mode, um, so that we can... Wait, what? Reveal the first zero cards from combat. Oh, wait, so these are modifiers? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. So you can modify your runs. Oh, I see. You've got points to spend that modify how things start. So you get more food at the beginning. Food is used for moving around. Chips are used for buying upgrades. And that's just max life. I see. I want more starting chips. So I'll opt for some of those. Mm, actually, I can only buy one thing now. <laughs> I'll get more max HP, I guess. Continue. Get me in the game. And here we are on the overworld. Very familiar look, I imagine, to all of you deck builder rogue players out there. I'm quickly going to come down here to my upgrade section and take a look at what I've got to buy. Um, because I did start with some some chips. Yes, chips are your currency. It's pretty cute. It's like, it really is based on poker. Like, you'll get to see when I get into combat, but it really is. So I've got 16 chips to start with. And uh, fancy that, the number of cards that I draw at the start of each turn. Right now I'm only drawing two. But I can upgrade and draw three, and I'm immediately doing that. If my childhood playing Yu-Gi-Oh! has taught me anything, it's that draw power is a big deal. And having more cards in hand is always a better option. Now, we have options here. I can go to the middle and fight this guy for four chips and go and get some treasure afterwards. I'm kind of mapping my route. I have no idea what any of this over here is, but I want this chest, all right? I want this chest. So, I can go and fight the elite battle, or I can go fight the normal battle. The elite battle gives me two of these gems down here, which... Let me draw extra cards during my turn. You know what? Elite battle. Let's just go. So, little rat. Wow, he hits hard. All right. All right. Let's go fight big rat. And now here we are. <laughs> here we are. So I need to keep an eye on what the rat gets as far as his cards are concerned. Every turn, we draw new cards. I'm drawing three a turn. He's apparently drawing a full five because, you know, he's, he's an ass. And so his attack, it shows his attack over here, his HP. He needs a pair. So he needs to get a pair of cards in order to actually do his attack. He has a pair of eights in his hand. So he will attack, plus the fact that the, the icon is highlighted in green tells us immediately he's going to attack. You don't need to be a, a massive poker um, aficionado to understand all of this. All you need to know is this rat about to swing, and I might be in trouble if he do be swinging though. So, my options are my shield or my, my sword. Can I actually use... So, this needs two cards, right? So, if I take both of my sevens, I can block for 14 damage. But can I also attack for three? I can attack for three. Cool, so I can swing for three and I can put a shield on, which is going to block the next 14 because of my two sevens. End turn. The rat's going to swing for 22. Block damage. I'm already losing life. Not good. Wait, does he not have a... He does have a pair. He's got a pair of threes. I don't believe you, rat. Hang on, hang on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my energy to stun him. You regain energy each time you move around the map. So if I just do this now, click to consume four. Four energy spent. Stuns him. He loses his cards. Excellent. Damn it. I can only use two cards for my attack. That's fine. Whatever. Swing for 15. Hit this rat. Next turn. Go. He's got another pair. How are you drawing pairs like this? How are you drawing pairs like this? I don't Dude, I don't understand. How? All right, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. So if I block for this and then attack for eight, I'm at least doing some damage and not getting completely decimated by giant rat. I don't, I don't believe you. How have you got, how are you getting pairs like this? I mean, I know you're drawing five cards, but getting a pair every single time shouldn't be guaranteed, my guy. It shouldn't be guaranteed. You know what? Spend more energy, stun him. I'm, I'm not... I'm not playing games with you, Mr. Rat. I'm not doing it. There we go, finally. He hasn't drawn a pair, so 
This is free for me, dude. It's free. Swing for that 18. Um, this is... Wait, wait. I'm, I'm making a mistake here. We've got our own pair. So my sword does damage based on the two cards paired, but it does 50% more attack if the cards are paired. So the king and an 8 is just going to be 18, but the two 8s is going to be 24. Excellent. Smack that rat. I'm not allowed to... No, I just have to end my turn. End turn, end turn, end turn. You still have a pair? Excellent, good. You're dead. We can do 19 damage here and kill the rat. Die. Out of my face. Out of my face. Chips, gems, good. Find a random item? Go. Do it. Go. Go get treasure. Discovery. Gain a random item. Toxic Dirk. Any cards adding to at least five. Poison for eight? Ah, so it's just been added over here to my sword. So wait, there's a lot of slots here. Whoa. So wait, I can have up to eight different things on here for options when I'm playing. That's pretty cool. So if I've got any cards that add up to at least five. So as long as it's minimum five, if it goes over, I can still use it. We've only got one thing to do here. Move over and fight the angry stallion. Let's go fight Mr. Angie Horse. Hello, Angie Horse. So he'll do stomp if his cards add up to was well, at least 40. But he's got one blind card that's not being seen. So using my my skills of basic math, I can tell you that right now he has in his hand 24. If I do say queen and two, I can hit him for 12. But then can I also, because it also adds up to at least five, I can do this? Yo, I can do that. That's sick. So he's now poisoned. So how does the poison actually work? He just takes life at the start of each turn. Oh, and it decays over time. I see it goes down by two every time. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yo, two queens? Wait, wait. I need to count his... Well, his... <laughs> Dude, that's terrible luck for you. You've got no chance over here. But two queens over here, if we use them as a pair, we're going to hit for 30 damage. Wait a minute. Is he dead? He's just dead. End turn. He dies from poison, right? Yo, Sick. Perfect kill, plus one to the score. Thank you, thank you. I, I am perfect. Looking at my chips and coming into the upgrade section here, apparently my item slots are only at three right now, and I would need to upgrade and purchase another slot if I were to find another thing. And I'm kind of worried that if I do find another thing, the problem is going to be that I won't be allowed to take it or equip it. So I'm going to buy that slot right now, just to, to uh, get in in advance in case that's the problem here. Let's see, an elite battle that gives me more food. Okay, because food food over here, you automatically eat food when you step on the map. You may eat food to gain 10 life. You cannot eat during combat. If you run out of food, you'll lose 10 life and two energy each world map move. Oh, that's kind of sucky. But you know, I really want to go down here and actually fight this thing and, and get the rewards. Wait, I can actually look at it. Oh, good. I can actually take a look at what, it's, what it does. Wait, it draws one hidden and two visible cards. One card ranked 10 or higher. So he just needs one. Oh, I see. I see. And he tags for 18. Reusable. Can be used any number of times in the same turn. So he can just... If he gets like two kings and a jack, he can hit me three times. Dude, that's terrifying. Let's go fight it. It's got low life though. It's only got 57 life. Oh, there you go. He's already got... He's got one already. Oh, no. I can get around that. I can get around that. If I use my queen and my four, I can block for 14. Block for 14 and then use... Use the, the poison dagger to actually poison him. There we go. End turn. He's going to hit me for like four damage. That's fine. That's fine. So six and three. Right, here we go. He's got one blind card. I have no idea if it's a 10 or a higher. So I'm just going to play the odds there and say whatever. He's good luck is all I'm going to say. Good luck. I'm going to swing in and hit for 21 over here. And I may as well use it. Can I just stack the poison? I can, dude. Oh, sick. It was a queen. Oh, uh, why didn't I just stun him as a, as, a, as a safety measure? Okay, you're dead anyway. You're dead now. He's dead now. Fine. I took I took a big hit. Doesn't matter. End turn. Poison. Die. He's gone. I took, what, 18? I took 22 damage there total. Ah, oh, that sucks. But I guess the idea is I got two food from that fight. So, I mean, if I, if I just eat, I'm full. I'm full? Ah, oh, man. One, one eat and I'm done. Now, looking at the map here, we've got a pile of four chips. We've got a fight that gives me four chips. We've got a shop. We've got a blacksmith. Ah, oh, man. What do they do, though? What do they do? Spend your chips on a variety of things at the shop. 
pay some chips to upgrade an item of your choice. You may upgrade multiple times, but the cost goes up. Oh, that's... So the blacksmith is how I would upgrade all of these to have improved effects. So, ah... Uh, oh, I see. That's actually really good. I'm actually thinking I want to go to the blacksmith and try and upgrade my uh, my current equipment. Oh, so the idea with this dude is that he needs to keep dropping cards into his pool until he hits 45 total. He unlocks the ability to use this. He hits me once for 39 damage, and then it relocks for 45 again. So I just have to kill him quick. This is a burst fight. I should be able to do that. That shouldn't be too... Look, he's got, he's got a three here. Nah, this is fine. We should be okay. So I'm going to hit him with my sword for big, big damage. Use the two biggest numbers I've got to uh, hit him for big. Poison him afterwards and turn. Okay, so that was 13. So he's knocked 13 down off his total. This is still fine, though. This is still fine, though. Hang on. I want to save uh, something for... The poison dagger, so I'll do that. Use these on your attack. Knock him down a bit more. No, he's getting closer to unlocking it. You got close, dude. You got close. Too bad for you. You're dead. Easy fight. So that one food that I just got, I'm going to use it immediately and eat. And then we're going to go to the blacksmith. Go to the blacksmith. Upgrade one of your items for its standard upgrade cost. Now, it sucks for me. I can't upgrade my sword. It costs 15 to actually do that, which, I mean, the sword is really good from what I've seen. The, the upgrade goes up to 100% extra attack if the cards are paired. That's huge, dude. But it looks like I could actually upgrade the shield and the dagger together. The dagger gets an extra three poison. And the shield lets me use up to two cards as opposed to needing two. So I'd be able to use one card to block with instead. I'm not sure I'd even do that, though, because most of the time I'm using my one leftover card to try and use the Dirk. Hang on, the, the Dirk gets upgraded. That's that's easy. We upgrade the Dirk. Upgrade one of your items for standard cost. Plus three additional. Oh, I see, dude. I see. I can't even upgrade my second thing anyway. All right, all right. I get it, dude. I get it. All right, Giant looks like a, a tougher fight, to say the least. Oh, I've got maximum gems. Oh, so I should spend one because I'm going to get one gem after this combat. I see. Thank you for the notice. Thank you for the notice. Anyway, so... Any cards that add up to at least 30. So he needs a flush. There's no chance right here. He's got he's got bad suits. But at the same time, he's asleep, so he needs to wake up, right? If that's the case, we're fine. And what a great hand we have right here. I can use double aces, get some big damage on this guy. Use my king to trigger the poison for 11 damage. All right, end turn, go. He's just losing life. So he needs... All right, so there's a three. There's a three card uh, potential flush right there, but not four. This, this, <laughs> this poor giant... Draw my extra cards, please. Use my gem. We're going to get another gem after combat. May as well. I didn't get any pairs, though. If I got pairs, my sword's going to hit harder. Instead, the six is going to go to the dagger. And... Actually, wait. Yeah, the six goes to the dagger, I guess. And I use my two biggest ones on the sword, because I can't use any more than two. I would use these on my shield, but I guess I should have waited. Because I'm not... I don't really need to do that. Oh... All right, hold on. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. So because he's got cards that add up to at least 30, he's paid for it. And he's got extra draw. Oh. But wait, you've got two spades and two diamonds. You can't get a four card flush with this, dude. You actually can't. I'm still fine. You're an idiot. Take this. And then take this. Get poison, son. Get some. Oh, there we go. Okay, hang on. So he's, he's done. You've done the same thing. Wait. You got two spades. <laughs> you got two diamonds. A heart and... A Oh no, and two clubs. Okay, I see, I see. You're still screwed. You're still screwed. You, you, well, you're dead anyway, I mean. Okay, Sleepy Giant is a, is a risky fight, I guess, but you weren't exactly a tough challenge, dude. I'm gonna nom down on some food real quick to get my life back up before this elite fight, which is the only fight I can go to. The Gremlin. You've got six cards, dude, that you draw. That's a lot of cards. Three red cards. He steals food. Oh, you suck. This fight's gonna suck. Seven black cards. He runs away with the food. So this dude doesn't even fight me. You don't even do damage. You're just here to steal food from me. All right, hang on. Ten and four. Hit him with damage. Poison him at the same time. And turn. Go. He's gonna steal some food, right? That's what you're doing? Yes. He needs seven... Wait, four, five, six. You need seven black cards to run away. So he's only gonna get potentially uh, six here. So I'm fine. Um, what I'm gonna do is smack you with sword apply more poison and turn yep no chance dude no he's gonna steal more food but i'm hoping the idea here is that when i kill him i get my food back i better get my food back son i bet i better get my food back yo i've got a pair over here hit him for 27 hit him for that biggie damage um there's no point in drawing the jam's gonna be i know the jam is gonna be wasted hang on do it anyway. 
I don't I think it actually does anything here, but do it anyway. And now you're dead. <laughs> Attack for six. Hit him for nine. Go. Kill him. Do I get my food back? Alright, what's the campsite do? Restore 50% of your max life, refill a consumable, and hunt for food if you need to. If you have campsite abilities, you may use those as well. Go there. I need to get some food. Do this. Rest for the night restores 15% of my HP. Hunt. It spends uh, five energy to gain two food. I might do that. Refill a consumable. No. Let's just get my food up because my food is looking kind of shabby right about now. And I think that's it. Let's just move on from there. Seat of the House of Hearts. Is this a boss fight? What's this? Oh, visit the castle shop, visit the castle dungeon, visit the wizard's tower, visit the castle blacksmith, visit the castle inn. Well, I've got 15 chips now. Can I upgrade my sword? Yeah, dude, upgrade the sword. I, I, dude, just do it. Just do it. I want my sword to be powerful. Okay, so as it turns out, if I'd come to the shop, they have lots of other weapons and things too. I didn't, I didn't think, dude. I did, look at all this. I could have got a new weapon. I could have got a thunder, a sword of pears, or a flame heart. I've come down to the dungeon. You see two enemies in the dungeon. They both look very powerful. Fight both of them and you'll receive 12 chips, two food, and four gems. I could use those chips to buy potential up. Do it. Do it. I wish to fight. I wish to- Succubus! I'm fighting a succubus! Oh god, no. So wait, she needs three- She's gonna do a claw attack for 20 damage? Uh... Uh... <sighs> Uh oh. Lady, wait, 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 wait. If I use my... Wait, she draws- she drains energy? Of course you drain energy. Hold up, hold up. Uh, stun her on this turn. Stun her on this turn. I don't want her doing anything. I don't want her doing a damn thing. Smack her for damage, get her poisoned, and turn go. Do that, just, just, just... Oh my god, she's got a- oh, dude. Wait, curse seven to five enemy- I what? What's a curse do? Items with curse cause the owner to take damage at the end of each turn if they fail to activate it. Activating the items completely removes curse from it. So I need to use, okay, that may not be the worst thing in the world, but still seems kind of sucky, dude. Hold up, hold up. I need to wait until next turn before I use my, my draw then. If she's gonna curse me, I need to actually use the curse thing to get rid of an effect. I need to wait, go. So she curses me and they're all now cursed. So what I can do is use this to draw and I should... Uh-oh. Damn it, I was gonna say, I use my two kings and I can swing for 40 damage over here. That would be huge. Humongy bungy. Problem is... I'm gonna take... Oh, wait, is it worth though? Might be worth doing that anyway. That's 40 damage. All right, I'm swinging for that 40 damage. I, I need to swing for that 40 damage. That's too big a chunk not to, not to knock out of her right there. So... Uh, here's my dilemma. Here's my dilemma. She's about to swing for huge amounts of damage anyway. So if I spend more of my energy, I can stop her. Now, I'm going to take some damage here because... Oh, because I haven't managed to stop the curse. So I'm going to take, what, seven damage? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that figures. And she's going to try and curse me again. But you know what? I think you've got too much damage... Um, going into you right now. So hang on. Swing with the sword. Do 11 damage. Apply more poison. 26. There we go. You're dead. Die. I lose 7 life from the curse. Doesn't matter. You're dead. I am victorious. So now I've got to fight the second thing. Back to back fights. Oh my god, dude. Hellhound. If he has 4 black cards, he attacks for 30. I, I can't see what he's got over here. And 4 red cards. Dude, you've got 2 of each. You've got 2 of each. He's, he's pretty much guaranteed to get this. He's pretty much guaranteed to inflame me for 11. When activating items with inflamed, uh, inflamed is removed from the items and its owner takes damage? You know what? Stun him. I, I, I don't care. Just stun him. He had, he had things. I know he did. Just stun him. I need my first turn to set up. Oh, he's definitely, okay. He's not going to get red, but he's going to get black. I'd rather he got red, to be honest. Getting all this, all this black power is going to, it's going to hurt bad, dude. Let me get my drawer on real quick. Um, I don't have any spades. I was hoping that my shield of spades would be able to activate here. What if I just stun him again? What if What if I actually just stunned him a second time to prevent him from actually doing that? Because I, I really don't want you to do that. So we take our king and our jack, our two highest ones, hit for 20. And then we just apply, I don't know, more poison, I guess. And then end turn with my two 
my two other cards being useless. Okay, he's, he's more than likely going to get red, but red just does, what, 11 and flame 11? Either way, I mean, we've got some, some decent power here that we can throw at him. Actually, hang on, you know what? Draw more cards. I want to see. Do I, am I going to get... Damn it, dude. I really want to get a pair for my sword to hit harder. I guess we just do this then. Oh, the sword is inflamed. It doesn't flame my equipment. I see, I see, I see. It's removed from the items and the owner takes damage. Inflame decreases on its own by 25% each time with a minimum reduction of one. So I could just not use my sword. And the idea is if I not use it, it'll go down on its own. But, oh man, that sucks. I need more draw power though. My hand sucks. He's going to inflame again, guaranteed. First of all, poison. Go. So he's taking 26 poison damage and it diminishes... Wait, next value after decay is 17. Wow, that goes down a lot. It goes down 33%. Alright, alright. It doesn't go down two. It goes down by a decent margin. Can I, can I just block that damage? Is that something that I can do? Can I block? Can I block him doing that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip. I'm not gonna worry about that. Alright, he just inflamed the sword again. That's actually good for me. That's good for me. He might get two, two black cards here, which would ruin me. But at the same, wait, he's dead. Oh, he did get the black cards too. Nah, he's dead. Good. All right, all right. That one, that one went a lot better. That was a lot better. We get some food, gems, and uh, uh, chips, more importantly. All right, get this, get this, right? Uh, the shop, uh, there's still nothing in the shop that I want to buy, but we come to the wizard's tower. This is my strategy here, right? This is what I'm going to do. I pay the wizard one chip, and I get five energy back. I spent a lot of energy back there. We do this. We get some energy back. That's pretty cheap. Seems fair. We come over to the inn. We pay two more chips. And we restore our life and we get an extra food, which is actually really nice. We get some food out of this, right? That's a pretty good deal. We gain 18 life, got a food back. That's great. And then we come over to the blacksmith and I pay three chips, right? Plus eight. And I can upgrade my shield of spades. Here we go. The great sandworm. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Draw one when hit. 640 life at a three card flush. He heals for seven. He removes poison. He removes all of his effects. Four card flush. He attacks for 89. Dude, you are such a scary fight. Use this. Inflame his regenerate. He doesn't draw yet because he's not hit. I get it. I get it. Does he draw when this happens, though? No. Okay. What if I just poison him out? What if I lame him? What if I actually don't strike him? And then he won't draw a card. That way, he has less chance of actually getting a four-card flush. Unless he has three of a suit, he can't get a four-card flush on me. I could just lame him out. Let's lame him out. See if it works. All right, two diamonds. He can't get a four-card flush here. This is fine. This is fine. We can lame him out. We can just inflame this over and over again. Yo, that's, that's, this is the finisher right here. Put the pair of kings in the bag of holding, poison him, and turn. We will lame you out, sir. He has three spades. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I actually hate you. If that's, that's a one in four chance. If that's a spade, I die. If it's a spade, I die, dude. 
I will survive Bailey if he actually gets it. I will barely survive. And I wish I could inflame this, but I'm not going to be able to. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Okay, good, 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 good. Back, okay. <laughs> I wasn't scared or anything. So, back to the same thing. He needs um, to get three in order to actually do anything to me. Just lame him out. Yep, 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 yep. We're laming him out. This is how it's going to play. It's not worth swinging at him. It's just not worth swinging at him. Because if he gets another spade, I'm in potential trouble right here. If he had one of every suit, then I'll swing at him, right? But at the moment, there's no need. There's no need. There's no need. Three clubs. Okay, okay. Guaranteed to get a heal and a cure here. But he could also swing at me. You know what? What if I return the cards and use the two kings to block instead? Yeah, let's do that. Inflame on his heal. Use the eights to poison him. Use the two aces. Bag of holding. Go. He got the clubs. Oh my god, he got the clubs. Oh, that hurts so bad. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on. We'll survive this, we'll survive this. Inflame him. Poison him. We've got a pair of aces in the in the bag for, for safety. And before I die, I will start stunning him and start using all this. I'm just trying to play the safe game, so... It's all about suits. His suits aren't scary to me right now. That's fine. Yep, yeah, good. Do whatever you want to do, dude. Uh, two, two clubs, that's fine. I don't care. Inflame his regenerate. Do it. Uh, alright, 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 alright. I'm going to swing with the sword. If he gets a club, I stun him. If he doesn't get a club, we're fine. He got a club. I, I don't believe you. How? How are you like this? How are you like this? Stun him. Wasn't a club anyway. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. End turn. Next. Got a five. We can do an inflame over here. Inflame that. Get a new card. It's a two. Yuck. yuck. Um, he doesn't have a chance to hit me with this attack just yet. Do this. Another ace. Great. Uh, end turn. Just lame him out. Lame him out. Two spades. Still no chance at hurting me right there. We've got a four. We can inflame. Start building up that inflame over here. Poison him. Lame it. Just lame it. I don't care if you heal, dude. You're taking more damage than you're actually managing to heal through. That's all that matters to me. Is that we keep laming you out. Yo, is that one of every suit? It's one of every suit. We have... Alright, this is our attack. This is our attack. So. so damn, we got a lot. Look at, look at our hand, too. Thick. So, we swing. He gets two diamonds. Worst case scenario, he gets a third diamond. He heals. We are not going to suffer anything too bad right here. So. Um, you know what I might do is... Yeah, we, we can't inflame, but we can we can just work with this. Sucks losing the king. To be honest, sucks losing the king, but... Not much I can do about it. Whoa. Three spades? Dude, three spades? You suck. If, that, if that's a spade, I'm just dead. So I need to stun him this turn. Guarantee I need to stun him. I'm not running that risk. Just do it. There's a club. I don't care, dude. So now, wait, now that I've stunned him, what I should do is attack him. Because it doesn't matter what he gets. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Three diamonds. Looks like it's time for another stun. Which means return my queens. Hit big with the queens. Stun with this. In with the inflame. In with the poison. And now, stun him. End turn. Two diamonds, we're safe. Okay, whoa, look at that. Put the two kings in here. Pocket them for later, poison him. End the turn. Three diamonds, he heals, don't care, don't care. Uh, that's one of every suit again, so I can poison him now and I can actually take a swing. Wait, take a swing with the kings. Because it doesn't matter now. Big damage. There we go. Pocket these. Move on. Uh, right, I've got my four here. I can inflame again. Get another card. Get that seven. Just use it over here. Doesn't really matter. It's all this, it's all suited again, so it actually doesn't matter anymore. I can just swing. 
Because it's all different suits, and now, worst case, he attacks me with... Wait, actually, you know what? Take the 10 and the 4, just in case, because I want to use my, uh, my dagger. Go. Yeah, see, look at that. That's why. That's why. Give me those back. Use this. Do that. Uh, three diamonds. Scary. Scary business. Scary... Scary business over here. If that's a diamond, I just die, so I might need to stun him again. Which I don't want to have to do, but I might need to. Swing on him. See, I could play greedy here. I could play so greedy and not actually do this. But you know what I might do? Is just use my one for all and just draw. Nah, just stun him. Just, just get rid of it. Yeah, just stun him. I don't want to risk it. Put the four and the nine, I guess, in the bag of holding for next turn. Go. All right, can we kill him this turn? We should really kill him. Oh, he's, he's got all wrong suits for his stuff anyway. So yeah, we can kill him. We can kill him now. The fight's over. Fight's over, big dude. GG. Bam. Wait, he's not dead. But wait, worst case scenario, it's double hearts anyway. So it doesn't matter. All right, all right, all right. End turn. I thought you were dead, dude. You're not even dead? Wait, you did die. Oh, sick. Nice. We live. We live. Go to the campsite. The deep blue sea. I can't gain any food because I have no energy left. Maybe I should have used my, I should use my gems. I forgot that I could use energy to get food here at the camp. Okay, I just have to leave. Okay, none of these upcoming fights are offering me any food, so I'm going to slowly starve. Never trust a pirate. Never trust a pirate. Look at this pirate. Look at this pirate. You know what? You're dead. Die. And now starvation sets in as we go and fight the giant octopus. Um, you just ran out of food and are starving. Every world map step you take will reduce my life by 10 and my energy by 2. Ow. I'm going to survive on, like, what, one life? Oh my god, it's so bad. I got an achievement for being on one life. <laughs> but wait a minute. Even if I win this, don't I die from starvation as soon as this is over? I'm screwed, dude. I'm screwed. Die, stupid octopus. So I killed the octopi, right? And now there's a tavern right there. There's a tavern right there. I can't move, dude. I'll die. There's a tavern right there. No! <laughs> it's one move away. It's one move away. Well, there you go. My poor little knight has died in World 3-2 to starvation. I think my very first run, we've unlocked the rogue. Nice. Rogue is my favorite, by the way. My favorite class in uh, in fantasy. I normally play a rogue in most games, so. Oh, we unlocked the mage as well. Dude, we unlocked the mage as well. Yo, the queen. Oh, look at the queen. Woo! So the knight guy is actually the knight of spades, and you have his abilities here and his uh, his combat effect, being able to stun an enemy for four energy. You've got the thief of hearts, who has his own set of things and his own special uh, stealing a card ability over here. The princess of diamonds, a true mage with the magic missile. I love it. Wizard sleeve. I love it as well. And I really want to get the queen, but I, I'm I'm just I'm just not good enough right now. I need I need to unlock her. I need to fight for it. But I'm going to have to wrap things up here. That run took a lot longer than I expected, mostly because I did better than I expected. I thought I would die before the first boss fight. I'm not normally great starting out on deck builder rogues, but this one is actually like easy enough to pick up and learn and get a grasp on, while at the same time having some punishing difficulty due to just, you know, either poor luck or bad planning. I mean, I could go back and take a look at this, and I'm sure there's a million different decisions I could have made that would have led to me not dying of starvation in the middle of the ocean, but nevertheless, I think I did well. Once again, another massive thank you to Playsaurus for sponsoring the video by giving me a copy of their game so that I could share with all of you guys. A link will be in the description below. Go check out Poker Quest for yourselves. It is an early access right now, which means more content on the way. It just means that 
what you've seen today is just a taste. Just a taste of what the game can offer. I mean, look, you've got daily runs. You've got you've got the, the, the challenge run, the daily run, where everyone gets to do the same thing and you get to see what your scores are. I mean, I haven't even played the rogue or the princess or even the queen yet. We've got so many different things that we can do in the game, so many different options, different builds, different routes, different boss fights. You've only seen a taste. Go check it out for yourselves. The link is down below. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed PokerQuest, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.